welcome to my channel. I am Andrea and this is Beyond the Pink Door. So today I am wearing my Sew so Over It Audrey top. One of my Sew so Over It Audrey tops. I developed a little obsession with this top last summer and I made, I think, maybe five. So this is the one with the tie. It's the only one I made with the tie. I made all of the rest of them with the bow because I just love the bow. And here's one I made with the bow. So I'm going to make one today. I have this lovely kind of ditzy print cotton jersey and I think this will be perfect. I think small print is really lovely for this top and today I'm going to film a little sew along for this top. Last year when I made it I had a little bit of difficulty with the neckline sitting flat. Now I will admit the one with the bow sits flatter than the one with the knot. I am obsessing slightly over it not feeling completely flat but it's pretty good. When I made it last year it stuck up here very high and it was almost like a stand-up collar and it really drove me crazy. So I made a little alteration to the neck band pieces and I thought I'll just film a video today of making one so that I can show you exactly what I did because I know a lot of people have experienced difficulty with that and also fitting the neck band onto the top. So um, I'm going to show you how I did that today. Now, so today I am going to make the bow version, which is my favourite. So I have the back, front and the sleeves put over there to one side. And then I am left with these three very strange looking pieces, which are going to do the neck band. So this is the back piece and these are one each of the front pieces. And they only need to have one piece cut of each, which is something I made a mistake of last year and cut them on the double, so just be aware of that. They have a lot of notches in them and these are the most important part, I find, of getting this neckband correct. So I'm going to show you the little alteration I did to each of the pieces around this area here and this area is practically the little shoulder seam. And that's where I had the problem last year, where it was sticking up. So I'm going to show you what I did to that. So here's one of the pieces that I'm not using today, but I'm just going to show you what I did. This is from version 3, but they're all the very same. I fold it in half and I measured one centimetre up from the edge to there. And drew a line. there. As you can see that. And then I cut that off. So that just changed the shape of that little triangular piece. And I did that on all the pieces. Now I've all my pattern pieces cut out and I've made sure that I have all of my notches marked in the three neck band pieces and around the neck on the front, the back and the centre point of the sleeves. So crucial, can't, I can't stress how important that is to mark all those notches. 
I've also tested my stitch on a scrap piece of fabric. So I'm on a different machine now. So what I've done is I've tried it out on a scrap piece. I've pulled, it's not snapping. This machine doesn't have the lightning bolt stitch that, to be honest, I never used on the other machine I had anyway. I much prefer a zigzag. So I have set it to two and a half in the length and one and a half in the width. Generally on my other machine I would have set the length at three and the width at one and a half but when I tried that on this it actually it didn't have enough stretch so just really try that out on your machine. I have a stretch needle in so I'm good to go. Now as a point of reference to the size I am 36 bust, 31ish on the waist, 38ish on the hips and I'm five foot tall. I have cut out and happily made a size 10 and sew over it in the Audrey top and I really like the fit of it. So there's lots of room, loads of room in it. Um, I wouldn't like it any different to that. Now my measurements don't match up to a size 10 and sew over it but what I do is I use a one centimetre seam allowance and that seems to work. I've cut out 12s in the past and used the one and a half centimetre seam allowance and they've just been far too big. So this seems to work on the Audrey top for me. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the front and the back, pin the side seams together, sew them using my one centimetre seam allowance and then overlock them. Now I've got my side seams sewn, overlocked and pressed to the back. And if you're at your ironing board and you're not quite sure which is the back, just have a look at the notches around your armhole and where you see the double notches, that's the back. And I've also sewn the seam on the sleeves and I've pressed that towards the back and you'll have the corresponding two little notches for the back as well. So I'm going to leave my top inside out and I am going to put my sleeve into it. Just eyeing up to make sure I'm putting the right sleeve in. I'm going to pin them here under the armhole and then I'm going to match up my notches. So that's one armhole. It's really, really simple to put the sleeves into this because of course there's no sleeve head or anything. So it's just a matter then of sewing around and overlocking and just doing that on the two sleeves. Now, so we're at the neckband already. I've left my pattern pieces on. I've done another treble check that I have all of my notches. So on the short piece, there's two. On the long one there's far more and on the back piece here there's two as well and a centre back one. So the first thing we're going to do is sew the three of these together. And we start with the back piece and we pin it right sides together here. And then the other piece, we pop this one in. Now I cut that one out slightly wonky, but I'll sew it from this side.
So it's a strange little shape. So we are going to sew along here, pivot, pivot up here and across here. So it is a funny little shape, but that what that's what needs to be done. So here's our seam. And I'm going to sew to here and pivot. Down to here. Up to here. So this is what it looks like when it's all sewn. So I've also done a little clip there in the centre. And now I've done that on the two shoulder seams. And the next thing we have to do then is sew the little bow part of it. So I'll turn the camera so that I can show you what I'm going to pin. So here's our back piece with our two seams. Here's our short end and the longer end. And on the short end there's a notch quite close to the shoulder seam and we're going to pin them together. And we're going to pin the whole thing in half So that's one side up to that notch and then on the long end we'll search for our first notch which is here. Pin those two notches together. And we're going to do the same then along it is a pain when it curls. Just try and keep it flat. Easier said than done. Some fabrics are just worse for curling than others. Throwing pins around the place. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sew from the notch along right into the corner here on the two ends. And I'm going to snip the seam right down to the actual zigzag stitching. See there? And I'm going to do that on both sides. And then what we have to do is we have to turn out to the right side just these two parts that we've sewn. Take off a little excess of the fabric there just at the end and push my thumb into the corner just so that I get a nice corner on it. I don't tend to poke anything into it. And then just with your thumbs kind of roll out the seam allowance. I'm going to do that on the other side as well and then I'm going to iron them flat. Now so this is the fun part. <laughs> Here's my neck band and what I've done is I've put a pin in where each of the notches come together and also where the seam is. I've done the same 
on the neck of the top. I've put a pin in where all the notches are and I've also put one in the centre front and the centre back. So I'm going to start pinning over here because this is where my bow is going to be. So first part to pin is where our seam ends and we're going to pin that here. Now I'm going to put my pins in behind. This might sound a little bit strange, but when I go to do my sewing, I'm actually going to sew on the top side rather than sewing the neckband to the top. That'll make sense when I start sewing. I find I can just work the ease in better that way. So that's the center pin. And then we match up our next one. So you can see we've quite a bit of ease there to work in. And it's really just a matter of matching everything up. So the seam goes to the notch in the middle of the sleeve. And we just work our way around. This notch matches up to that sleeve sleeve seam and here we are at our centre back and again with quite a bit of ease there but that will work in there see if we stretch it it actually works in next one to match up is the armhole seam again And here we are at the centre of the sleeve, onto the shoulder seam. And then here we have a little gap here, and this is where our bow ties. So we have the last little piece there, and that matches up to our sleeve seam. And then we are ready to sew. So I'm actually going to turn the top the right way out, or the wrong way out, sorry, because that's just going to make it easier for sewing. So I'm going to start over here, obviously, where the neckband starts with the little bow. I'm going to start with the back stitch. And then what I'm going to do is stretch out the top so that it works with the neckband. And then first bit eased. So if you just work your way around, basically, notch to notch, stretching the top, and just trying your best not to get any little puckers. It is a bit of a faff gathering all the layers together.
nearly around. Nearly around. Now let's assess. So we have loads of gathers, but I don't see any actual puckers. Ooh, possibly one there. We have a little pucker there I don't like the look of. So what I'll do is I'll unpick just that little stitch. There you can see it there, just one stitch. Just gonna rub it out. Tidy ball those things after. Okay, that's it gone. Okay. So I'm going to trim that back a little bit and I'm going to overlock it. And then I'm going to give it the ironing of its life. Now it's time for some good old ironing. So I'm ironing the seam down into the top. Now, of course, you'll notice that we have a little gap here. So what you can do is you can just top stitch that bit down. You could zigzag it down. Now, what I am going to do is I'm actually going to use my cover stitch to go all the way around um, because I just like the look of that and it keeps the seam down flat as well and I can work out some of the gathers as I go around as well. I'm just going to give that another little bit of an iron. But apart from the hem on the sleeve and the hem on the end of it, it's done. So I think I'm going to iron up the hems now because then I just have to go to the cover stitch machine once. Here we have it, all cover stitched sitting lovely and flat now. Definitely stitching down that seam helps with any little gathers or puckers. I'm really pleased. Oh, a few little threads. So the next thing to do is to tie the bow. So I've really played with how to get the bow to sit as flat as possible on this and this is how I do it. So I take the right piece and put it over then make the first bow piece and then come out from behind and then a little bit of faffing and I find that sits nice and flat. That will even go through the wash and still come out tied. There we go. We have the cutest little Audrey top. Really pleased with the little bow. Fits lovely. I did go for slightly longer on the sleeves this time. All my other Audreys have sleeves up to here so I just think for springtime now that'll actually get that little bit nicer. Um, 
yeah, what else can I say about it? <laughs> I really like it. Um, so I hope that was of help to anybody who has struggled with the neck. I hope you can you could have seen how I did it. Any questions, just pop them into the comments and I'll see what I can do to help. This will definitely get lots of wear now for spring and summer. Once the weather gets better, it'll be on with my three-quarter length trousers, my white shorts, and be lovely tucked into um, my denim Camden skirts. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!